Hey guys, just want to take some time out of my day. Adrian Goes Fishing here. Just want to tell you guys about a very, very durable knot, very, very strong knot uh, called the FG knot. It is, in my opinion, the best knot for casting long leaders. It's a really strong knot, and with practice, it can be tied quickly and effectively. So today I've got some Lion Green Power Pro 65 pounds, so for you to see, red background, and some 60 pound uh, Berkeley monofilament. So the first thing we're gonna do is tie the leader end to your toe. You know, nothing serious. I just wanna hold it in place so we get some tension. See, it's on my toe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the monofilament on top of the end of the braided line. And we're gonna take our index finger here and just give it a few wraps. And we're gonna have it like this. Okay, so the key thing is that we've got it tight going up and down and side to side like this. And all we're going to do is do the first uh, of our Chinese finger grip, which is the first part of the FG. So having it over like this, we're going to bend it over and under and pull upwards. And then we're going to have this tight. And we're going to have our fingers holding here to hold that in place. Usually what I do is use my teeth to pull the leader up, but because of the challenges in doing that within a video, I'll just skip that portion. So we've done one on the left-hand side, and we're going to alternate until we get to about anywhere from 20 to 28 is what I do. So there's two. Here's three. Here's four. See how that's coming out? Here's five, and at the end of each twist, I pull it up. Here's six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. For the purpose of the demonstration today, I'm only gonna do 20 wraps, but you see how that is? How those coils form? They're nice and close together. What I typically do is take my teeth and pull, you know, pull the braided line and pull the leader upwards so it all seals nice and good. So we've got our 20 wrap Chinese finger grip. And we're gonna do, we're gonna just bring this leader portion parallel to the main line. And we're gonna do anywhere from six to 10 half hitches. So I've got it like this now. And now I'm gonna pull tight, like I said, with my teeth and pulling against the main line and have it parallel like this. And we're gonna do the first of six to 10 half hitches. So here's the first half hitch. So just to show people what a half hitch is, you've got it like this. This is gonna be over the leader portion and the main line. And we just make a little loop like this. So look at that really carefully. We've got the line, make a little loop, and we take the tag end right here, bring it underneath like so. See, underneath, and then once we do that, we pull tight. See, you want to get something like this, then you want to put your teeth here at the top of the leader so it all comes in really neatly. And usually right here is where I bite and pull to make sure that FG seals properly. So the key to these half inches is that they're alternating and that really gives it some strength. So we did this side first and now we're going to flip it and we're going to do this side. And for the purposes of this video, I'm only going to do about four just to show you what it looks like but typically I do six to 10. So here's our second half hitch. We pull tight. We come back here. See that didn't come down as tight as I wanted it to. That's okay. Come back here, do another half hitch. Pull, see that? Try not to have any sort of looseness on it. But because I'm not able to pull, it just makes it a little challenging. Okay, so we've got something that looks like this. 
should be nice and tight together. Again, typically with an FG, you want to pull. Okay. And we're going to do fourth half hitch here. Key to sealing in this FG is to pull, pull, pull. Okay. Now, assuming you've got these tight and right, should look something like this. Again, these coils would be closer together if you're pulling properly each time. But because it's challenging to do that in video, I didn't do that. But all you need to do to achieve that effect is just keep pulling the leader and the main line, keeping it tight. Now, what I used to do is just finish this knot by doing a single half hitch on the main line, followed by a double or triple half hitch on the main line. And you certainly can still do that, what I do now instead is a risotto finish. Okay, so we've got our FG and we're gonna tie a risotto finish. So you guys, we just got done with our FG and I'm gonna talk about a knot that I don't see a lot of tutorials out there for, and that is the risotto finish. So we just did a 20 turn on the Chinese finger grip FG sealed with four half hitches. And again, I typically do 20 to 28 and I seal with six to 10 half hitches, but I just did some less for the purposes of the video. So now we're gonna do is a risotto finish. And if you're familiar with tying a bimini twist, this will probably look very familiar. So pinching right here, I'm gonna go up here and over the main line and the leader, I'm gonna make this sort of uni clinch looking thing like so this is the first step to get it like this pretty straightforward but then i'm going to take this and just wrap it anywhere from i mean honestly five to ten times five to eight times to get it nice and nice and tight so one two three four and five and notice that that fifth loop that the tag end is hanging on the outside of the loop and i'm just going to pinch the tag end right here like that okay so now you see we've got something that looks like this okay now what i do is i typically pull it just a little bit just so it's easier to to see like that then now what we do whoops is we take this end and we wrap it over each other the same amount of times that we wrapped the first way. So we're gonna take this and take our hands and fold like so. One, two, three. And what this does is unleash the wraps, four. And when it's done, it'll be obvious because there's a loop, five. And the great thing about this thing, this knot also, is that you can mess it up and keep wrapping, but it doesn't matter how many times you wrap. Because when you unwrap, see, I've got this loop right here, signifying that my knot is, is fully unraveled. You'll see a loop like that. If I keep wrapping, it doesn't matter. It's all gonna come loose anyway, right? So you've got something like this. Again, I don't have to, you know, but if you forget your count or whatever, and you, you keep wrapping, more is better. Because when you turn, it's gonna come out the same amount of twists anyway. And so all you have to do now, if you can see, is just pull tight, okay? Really, all along this process, you should be moistening the line. And you just pull nice and tight, okay? Pull the leader, pull the tag end, and you got a risotto finish on an FG knot, okay? It's a real simple knot, honestly well tied, very, very, very well tied. It will hold up probably to about 80% strength of the main line, provided you're using, uh, you know, it depends on number of factors. For example, monofilament knots better than fluorocarbon, 
Um, your lines have to be moist, uh, different braided line, different brands of line, not better than others, but with the right conditions and the right tying and, and so on, you can get an FG to be over 80% in terms of the mainline breaking strength. So let's just talk about absolute breaking strength for a moment. This is 65 pound power, 65 pound power pro braid. But in reality, if you, if you try to stretch this, this will probably break anywhere at 75 to 80 pounds of tension. Just throwing a guess out there. So the idea is that a connection is said to be 100% if it can, if when you pull with tension against a fish or whatever, it will hold up to 100% of the absolute breaking strength, right? So what I'm saying is that an FG knot will typically hold up anywhere. If you tie it well, if you tie it properly, you should be easily, easily get 70% of the absolute breaking strength with heavy enough leader and like I said, the right conditions. But if you tie it very well and you, you know, you can get upwards of 80% or over 80%. And uh, just if you, if, you, if you think that's, oh, that's, that's not that great, 70%, well, it's physics. That's number one. Um, it's very hard to tie a 100% knot. And number two is that if you look at the recent knot competitions, the FG is one of the strongest pound for pound in its category. It's not the strongest. You've still got knots like the PR bobbin, and uh, you've got uh, the GT knot for heavier connections, but the FG knot is a knot that really won't fail you if, if you use it properly. For example, you're probably not gonna pull at extremely heavy force the entire time. Most of the times you may not even need, you know, to lock the drag and, and, and pull, you know, at 100% of the braking strength. So just something to think about. It's a really good knot. I think if somebody, only had to learn one knot, this is the knot they should learn. Agent goes fishing here, and all I do after this is just cut the tag end, and I'm ready to roll. All right, guys, take care.